So I'm back in Virginia a couple years ago, and uh, I'm playing where I went to high school, Virginia Beach. I'm playing the Virginia Beach Library, a big theater, it's really nice. And my high school girlfriend comes to the show. She looks fantastic, you know? And she runs five miles a day, and she's a PhD, and she's a principal in, a, in a high school, now, which I found wildly amusing. <laughs> comes up to me and she goes, James, wow, you're packing it on. <laughs> so my wife called you, this is set up. <laughs> and then she said, so you're gonna do our song? I thought about saying no. I don't remember our song, who are you? <laughs> but I didn't, I said, uh, I was quick on my feet, and you know, I said, yeah, our song, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I didn't remember her song. <laughs> I went to the 60s. I thought remembering her was triumph. <laughs> and then she said, you know, it's the first 45 I've ever bought. And, I, and then I did remember. When I was uh, 10, I got one of those little uh, suitcase like record players, yeah. 45 mm -hmm. RPM, yeah. with a big fat spindle, you know? Yeah. And, and you could uh, you could put, you, you remember this, but you put on record, it used to be plastic and black. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But there were yeah. CDs and yeah. 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 And there was only one song There's on each side. No. no, you could play both sides. You can't yeah, play both, both sides. sides. <laughs> so, that was it. Anyway, I put this song on, and, and, uh, and if, you, if you held back the arm, if you turned it back or pulled it back, we would play the same song over, over and over, and over again. again. Yeah, so, over. so I played this song maybe 10,000 times. I don't know, I just, I couldn't stop playing. I played it all day long, every day. As soon as I got home, I put it on, I put it on all day my home. I just played and played and played. It was like the soundtrack of my, of my 10th year on the planet, you know? And, and uh, my father, <laughs> not a patient man. <laughs> <laughs> he used to encourage me to do it. To give it a drink, you know, <laughs> give it a break. But he was never gentle about it. It wasn't like, say, Jim, you know, we've heard that song 26,000 times today. Do you think you might just turn it off for a minute so I don't go postal and shoot you? <laughs> 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 it was never anything like that. It was always like this. Jimmy! <laughs> you know, every time my dad said my name, it was like that. Jimmy! <laughs> I was never constipated as a child. <laughs> Anyhow, I, I did play that song 10,000 times. When Nancy asked for it, I thought, do I know that song? I went to the dressing room, and I not only knew it, I knew how to play it. I, it was That's like in my chromosomes or in my cells or something. I just, just from absolute uh, repetition, it had... It had worked its way into my being, and, uh, and I knew it, so I sang it for her. And I announced it on the stage, and everybody got all the clump, you know. So, anyhow, let's do it for you all. This is a song I didn't write, but I, I was going to. <laughs>
while you won't come, but it's all in the heat. Soon you'll be there at your side, where there's we. Bad hill king.